What's it going to be today, guys? A massive final week, week 16 of the Thrift My Way to the USA series. I'm packing my bags and I'm off to America this Sunday. Super exciting stuff and the pressure's off. We've been able to achieve the budget of $8,000 last week. And today, well, it's all about play money. Just trying to find a few hundred dollars that we can hopefully spend over there and have a bit of fun with. And you guys are going to get a bit of a say in how that money gets spent. So let's dive into the thrift and we'll see what we can find. This is exactly the sort of stuff that I'm going to be looking for when I'm in the States, guys. We've got an LA Lakers t-shirt here. I was able to put it up onto my Instagram and sell it for 20 bucks pretty quickly. So that was a fun little start. I've got this one as well. The New Zealand Warriors polyester pullover, Canterbury size large. This was an awesome piece, but it was 20 bucks. Would you have paid 20 bucks for it? Let me know your thoughts. Instagram viewer poll question. Uh, I've got these as well. RM Williams. You can always rely on this brand, guys. We're talking anywhere between $40 to $50 for these. I'm picking them up for just the 12 bucks. And the condition, yeah, they're pretty good. I've got this as well. RM Williams, the stockyard pan. I passed on these at $15. You generally get between sort of $30 to $40. So not quite enough room for me on this occasion. These moleskins were a very similar result. You're generally getting about $50 to $60 for these. A $25 purchase price was just a little bit too high for me. I jumped into the shoe section and look, I'm passing again. These weren't a bad pair of shoes. And in the past, you've probably seen me pick them up, but for $15, I just thought that was a little bit high for this sort of a running shoe because I've ended up finding them for a slightly cheaper price than another store. I actually only paid $2 for these that you're seeing here. So two compared to 15, I'm much happy to walk away with these ones. And I also found a pair of Kathmandu hiking pants, uh, hiking shoes, I should say. Both of these shoes, the Nikes and the Kathmandus, they were both $2 each. So you can't go wrong with that. The quality of these, look, I do need to give them a bit of a clean, but I should be able to turn them into about 45 to 50 bucks. There was just one other one, which was this VHS tape. And I do try to look at the VHS every now and again. Uh, if I had a few of these, I would have gone with it. But look, $35 at most. The three that I've got here, probably only 25 and they're asking five bucks a piece. Anything New Zealand Warriors in the NRL goes really well. So when I saw that for 20 bucks, I'll put it up as an Instagram viewer poll, but you guys know that I was going to go ahead and make the purchase every single day of the week. Now, it was 70% of you that said to cop, 30% said to drop, but this thing is really cool. Canterbury is obviously a great brand as well. It's a size large, the correct sponsorship branding with Vodafone on the back and the front. Um, this thing should go for about 65 bucks. So I'm happy to pay the 20. It should net me around about a $20 profit. A rare sighting in the thrift, guys. We've got some video games. Don't come across them too often, let alone find any value in them either. But we've got a little win here. We've got Assassin's Creed Unity for $5 and it turns into 20 bucks. It was complete as well, so that was a cool little find. I've also got this as well. Not that I play in the book section too much, though, but this was $35 in brand new condition. They were asking 10 bucks. I actually ended up putting it back on the shelf because I just don't do books anymore. I've got this as well. We've got the G-Star Raw Pants. Now, these are a really nice pair of pants. I really like the pattern to them. The size, 33, 32, not too bad. But no, I can't be doing $20. Nor can I be doing $44 for this skate or die poster. As cool as it was, it reminded me of my days watching Life of Ryan on MTV. But I had to pass on that one as well. Would have liked to put that up on the wall. Uh, jumped into the shoes yet again, guys. And uh, I found this. It looked not too bad. $10 for these. I ended up passing on them, just given the quality. A little bit of yellowing on the sole. I've got these as well, but I passed yet again guys maybe i'm just getting picky when it comes to my shoes but look for 15 dollars, i just didn't think there was enough profit in them these were absolutely dirt cheap they're only eight dollars and the condition of them was pretty good but i just don't like to buy white shoes because they don't really clean up to become bright white so therefore i don't think the resale value will be there these as well look i thought i found my first ever pair of nike dunks but uh they're actually a, a horrendous fake if you have a look at that tag do not be picking up shoes that look like that now i know i spoke of yellowing on the sole earlier but i did pick up these Adidas NMDs. Six bucks was the purchase price, and I reckon I can turn them into about $45. So it was more the purchase price being only six dollars as to the reason why I bought those. Now, this is a Leadville Racing Series hat, it's an ultra marathon over in America, and when I saw it, I just thought that somebody out there might like to purchase that within Australia. So I've only grabbed it for four bucks, it should turn into about 30. If you caught last week's episode, we had the giveaway running for Rhythm Heaven on the Nintendo DS. And I'm pleased to report that the lucky winner is Heather Jones. Congratulations, Heather. That one's going to be going out to you tomorrow because I'm off to the States on Sunday. And 
I had a lot of questions from you guys saying, what do you do with your eBay store if you're gonna go away for a holiday like that? And basically, I'm using the time off feature, the time away mode. So it'll just be a notified message that people will see on my listings to say that I'm gonna be away until the 3rd of June. And from there, I've also scheduled up 10 listings to go live every single day for those 14 days that I'm away. So you can still purchase off my page, it's just that it's gonna be a slight delay in shipping. So hopefully that answers those questions and let me know in the comments if you think that's the best practice. The day has finally arrived. Have a look at that. Look at the lights just lighting up his little eyes there. We've got a Furby, guys. This is the first time I have ever found a Furby in a thrift. And I'm always looking for these things because they can be worth some great money. Now, this was all bagged up in excellent condition. Just a $6 purchase price. And have a look at him. Look at those eyes. Could not resist it. Very happy to find it. I've also got this as well. Now, this is just 12 bucks. It just looked interesting. Looked really cute. It's a fur real um, toy. And these fur real toys go for about $70 to $80. I just need to make sure that it worked though. And when I turn the button on, you won't believe how real life this thing is. Such a cool find. And to see it working like this, I'm no doubt going to get my full top dollar for it. Such a nostalgic purchase, guys. This is one of those bucket list items you look for all the time in the thrift store. Kind of like a Mambo Loud shirt. You just hope to find it. And for two years, I've never been able to find one of these. So to grab him for six bucks, to know that he is working with the lights on, that's pretty cool. Look, I think this one, 2012, it's not the uh, the vintage model of Furby. So I'm, I'm probably only anticipating maybe $30 to $50. Uh, but you can get the ones from, I think, 1998, I think is when they started. And they can go upwards of sort of 80 to to $100, sometimes even more. So they're a really cool toy to be finding. I'm always peeking into the toy section, but to finally get it, very, very cool. Time to drop some knowledge on the clothing category, guys. I've got three Tommy Bahama pieces here, and it's a brand you want to be finding. I talk about it a lot on this channel, but these were special. These were special because this one here was an extra large tall, but it was 100% silk. Now, material is very important when you're buying clothing, so silk is something I'm always looking for. Tommy Bahama being a great brand, that was just a big match. And then this one as well, the third shirt that I found, this was 100% linen. So linen and silk, it's always going to be better than cotton. You're going to get a better turnaround for value. So I'm thinking about 35 bucks a piece for these. I paid $24 and I think I'm going to be able to make about 100 bucks on them. So that was epic. I've got these as well, the Levi Strauss 501s, 36 waist, 34 length. Not too bad, guys. Should be able to turn that one into about 50 bucks. The 501s are usually pretty good. I just like the color pattern on this, the Rod and Gun Extra Large. Don't know if I love the brand, but I just went ahead and grabbed it. Barney Cools, I've picked this one up for $4. How about the pattern on this one? Don't know if I could wear it myself, but surely somebody out there might want to. Now, I wish I was going to Hawaii. This is my favorite restaurant in Hawaii. Go to Duke's, get yourself a burger. Could not resist picking that one up. And then the Coogee Lux as well. I've got the stretch collection here for $4. Couldn't resist picking this up either. Don't know if I'll be throwing the pink on. None of this is for me, I should say. Uh, I jumped into this as well. This was at the, uh, the cash register, and it was a bunch of Funko Pops. Sometimes I like to do a bit of a lottery where I just take a stab on things. So I've got this down to $4 a piece. I spent 44 bucks and you'll be surprised by the results. So these things are actually worth some pretty good money. Um, oh look, I spent $44. I actually had no idea what really any of them were, but some of these are really rare. Let me take you through some of them. I'll show you what they're worth. So this Overwatch character is probably the worst of the bunch, but these two are Dragon Ball Zs, and I might be able to do them as a bit of a bundle. This one was a My Hero Academia, and that was going for some decent money. This one, Mugman, he was going for about $85 in his box. And remember, they do need to be in their box to be worth value, so this will be a whole lot less than what I'm going to get. Uh, but it's nice to know that they are rare Funko Pops. Uh, this one here as well, Charmander, was going for about $50, so I should be able to get about $15 to 20 bucks for that one there. This, though, was a Korean boy band, BTS, and there's seven characters in that boy band, and I've got six of the Funko Pops here, and they're all quite rare. They all go for quite a lot of money as well, so I'm actually anticipating I might be able to get about 100 bucks for all six of them as a bundle, which I'm definitely going to do. And then this one over here as well, the Angry Beavers. I used to love watching these guys. There's a pre-owned box that went for 100 bucks, so I might be able to get about $40 for that there. So you never know, guys. These... Funko Pops, $44 worth of a purchase price, might turn into about $200.
But what I'm gonna do is put $400 worth of profit out of today's thrift haul towards the budget. So it works out to $8,775. We've got 775 bucks to play with. And I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below as to what I should do with it over in the USA. Remember, you've got to convert that money into US as well. Uh, looking forward to getting over there, guys. Job done. We've been able to do it. 16 weeks. It's been a whole heap of fun making this series. Thanks very much for being here. The 30% clubbers that stick around to the end. I'll leave you with last week's episode of A Trip to the Thrift. There's a playlist for every single one of these videos on my channel right now. So go check them out if you missed any episodes along the way. And uh, I guess we'll see you in America.